I look so oily right now. Just cause I wash my face for this video. Alrighty, let's do this. Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I know, I know. I don't even want to hear it. Just don't even, whatever. <laughs> So today I'm back with another video. Um, today's video is actually a really, really highly requested video, especially from my Snapchat fam. Love you guys. Um, yeah, so if you didn't tell by the title already, this is how I cleared up my acne. So if you follow me on all my social media, primarily my um, Snapchat, <laughs> um, you guys know my whole like skincare and acne journey and what I was going through because I was most active on there. Yeah, so a lot of you guys wanted to know how I cleared up my skin and what I did and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I'm making a video today. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I cleared up my acne, then just keep on watching. All right, so this whole video is going to be about skincare. Um, like I said before, if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that during the summer of 2017, we're in 2018? Yeah, in 2017, my skin kind of just blew up. It just started, I just started getting acne all over the place. And it was really, really frustrating because I didn't have perfect skin before, but I'd get a pimple in here or there, like if it was that time of the month or if I was stressed or whatever, it wasn't full on like acne. But when May... May, June started to come around. I just started getting severe acne everywhere. It was like blackheads, whiteheads, cystic acne, just little pimples here and there. It was just all over the place. So a little backstory on my skin. I have combination skin, which I just realized now, like from working in Sephora, I realized that I have combination skin. So I'm oily towards my T-zone, so basically my forehead, my nose, and my chin area. And I'm pretty normal throughout the rest of my face. So as a teenager, I never really broke out. Like I said, I just get a pimple here or there. I never had really severe acne till I started hitting, till I turned. This was like when I hit my 20s, when I started to get really, really bad acne and textured skin. And it was really frustrating because when I had no makeup on, you couldn't really tell. But I obviously, like I work at Sephora, I have makeup on 24-7, almost 7 days of the week. So you would really see the texture on my skin, which was really, really frustrating. And it was really, really embarrassing. It was so embarrassing because I knew people were looking at my skin and not really my makeup. And they were just like, hmm. Which was annoying. So it made me feel very, very insecure. A lot of times I really didn't want to go out without like... I just really didn't want to go out because I felt like people were just staring at my skin. And I was just very, very uncomfortable. So my skin started to get really, really, really bad July 20th. Literally three days before my 21st birthday. Yeah, my skin was horrible for my 21st birthday. But I didn't let that stop me from having fun. So I'm going to move over a little bit just so I can insert some pictures right here just so that you can see. So the first picture that I'm showing you right now, well, a couple of the pictures that I'm showing you right now is July 20th of 2017. This is when my skin was at its complete worst. As you can see, I had a lot of texture um, and I had a lot of raised pimples like just everywhere. It was just all over the place. Luckily, it didn't hurt. It wasn't like... Um, like, it wasn't like painful cystic acne, thank God. Um, but it was still pretty embarrassing. And as you can see on my forehead, like the picture here, I had a lot of just like regular little bumps. Like there wasn't any whiteheads or blackheads in it. It was just like little bumps and I still don't know even what that was. But yeah, so at this time I was just like, I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with my skin. I can't have skin like this. I really need to do something about it. So I was doing a lot of research. Ooh. So I was doing a lot of research on what I can do and oh my god people, I am filming. So I was doing a lot of research on what I can do and what 
will help me the best and all that stuff. So the one thing I did change the most was drink a lot of water. I know people hate hearing this, but it really, really does make a difference. I was just drinking only purely water. Make sure you are drinking a lot, a lot of water. Water is great for you. Um, two, my diet was shit. I was literally eating out every single day, maybe two to three times a day, which is so bad. It's really, really bad. Just eating a bunch of fried food and food that isn't good for you is just bad for your body and bad for your skin. So I was trying to cut back on eating out so much and just trying to eat at home and whatever my mom made and just try to eat a little bit healthier. I didn't go completely like strict diet, I just try to cut off as much as possible. So with the combination of drinking water and trying to eat a little bit healthy really, really helped me, helped my skin. Okay, so on to the skincare. Every single acne product has salicylic acid in it. So I was using a lot of products that had salicylic acid in it. So I was using a cleanser with salicylic acid. I was using a toner with salicylic acid. I was using a moisturizer with salicylic acid. And that may work for some people, but for me, it did not work. The only thing it did was dry the shit out of my skin. Like I said, I have combination skin. So I was getting super dry all around here where it was just peeling off. I would put makeup over it and it would just spread and just look horrible. So I was like, if salicylic acid is not working for me, what the f am I supposed to use if that's the only acne medication out there? So I did more research and I found out that there was another acne medication called benzoyl peroxide, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with. Actually, one of my friends, Sorel, Hey girl! She actually recommended me to use benzoyl peroxide because she used to have pretty severe acne herself and she was saying how benzoyl peroxide is a lot stronger than salicylic acid but she couldn't use it because she was allergic to it so she told me to try it out. So I was like, okay, cool. I really couldn't find a lot of cleansers with benzoyl peroxide. It's at Sephora, which is a really, really weird. A lot of them just have salicylic acid, which was a little frustrating. So I decided to go to the drugstore because I know there's a lot more options in there. So the one cleanser that I did find that had benzoyl peroxide is this bad boy right here. So this is the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Cleanser, Maximum Strength Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Medication, Treats Even Stubborn Acne, which is what I had because my shit did not want to go away for anything. So I saw this and it has actually 10% benzoyl peroxide, which is a lot of benzoyl peroxide. But like I said, at this point I was willing to do anything because I spent so much money on like facials and all these different high-end products for skincare and all this shit and I spent so much money, I was like, I literally don't care. I and I haven't really heard anybody talk about this at all. I literally just saw it at Rite Aid, no actually Target, and I was like, oh, let me just use that. I haven't heard anybody talk about this, so I was a little skeptical on using it, but I was just like, whatever, let me just try it. This cleanser right here literally saved my life. I still use it till this day. I don't use it every day because I don't have as bad of acne as I did before. So I'll use this about two to three times a week, just depending on how I'm feeling or how my skin is. Um, doing but I still use that product that is my holy grail product I will never ever live without it so if you feel like the 10% benzoyl peroxide is a little bit too much for you and you have sensitive skin which I I completely agree 10% is a lot there is another cleanser by Neutrogena which is the clear pore mask and cleanser in one so this actually has 3.5 benzoyl peroxide you can use this as a daily cleanser ear, ear, or even an intensive mask. So that's really, really good. So yeah, if you want to try something with a little less benzoyl peroxide, I would definitely go for this. All right, so then the next step of my skincare routine, I would use witch hazel as my toner. I've seen so many people use witch hazel as their toners, and I was just like, let me just jump onto the bag, bag, bag wagon, bag wagon you know what i mean so i picked up mine at my local target it was literally like 350 it was not expensive at all um so i bought 
these in bulk because they just re work really well for me um witch hazel is really really good because one it's natural anything natural is going to be great for your skin regardless it also helps with oiliness um irritation redness and it even helps with scarring all right so after my toner i would use an acne medication so the one that i was using was the kate somerville anti-black back acne clearing lotion so this actually has 5% benzoyl peroxide. So if you're good at math, I was literally putting 15% benzoyl peroxide on my face, which is a lot, but it helps me out a lot. So I don't regret it at all. It didn't burn me. It didn't irritate me at all. Literally cleared up all of my acne. Um, I would use this right after my toner. I would just take one pump and put it all over my skin. Wait about two to three minutes just for that to actually like sink into my skin and actually start working and then i would go in with moisturizer and then the moisturizer that i was using was the origins ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer so since i did have more um oily skin when my acne was kind of at its worst um gel moisturizers are better for oily skin if you have more normal to drier skin i would suggest using more of a cream but I use this one. I'm actually almost out of it. I need to get a new one. This was really good because it was nice and um, soothing. It wasn't heavy on my skin. I just wanted like a really hydrating, nice moisturizer so it wouldn't really fuck up my skin even more. So that's why I use this. Um, I just heard a lot of people like this, especially people who have acne prone skin. So I was just like, let me just use that. So, those are basically all the products that I use religiously every morning and every night when I had acne. So, like I showed you before, July 20th, this is what my skin looked like. And I was using all of my products, like I said, every morning and every night. So, this is what my skin looked like um, July 31st. So, you can see a huge difference in my skin and I was completely in shock i never seen products work this quickly on my skin before so you can really see the difference in a matter of a, almost a week and a half of how different my skin was and how well these products were working for me i was so freaking happy i was like yes finally something that is working for me so clearly my skin wasn't like completely clear but obviously you can see that it is a lot better um, a lot of my redness went down, a lot of my active pimples went away. I just had like a lot of scarring and a lot of texture because of the little flesh covered um, pimples, the ones that don't really have anything in them. So that was what, July 31st. Now fast forward to August 8th. Now you can really, really, really see an improvement of my skin. A lot of the redness right here was actually not even active acne. That was kind of just a lot of scarring. I mean, that's going to happen when you have a lot of acne. You're going to get scarring no matter what. But you can just see how much even happier I was with my skin and how much more glowing I look and how much checks texture went away. Okay, so moving on to August 18th. This is what my skin looked like in less than a month of using my products religiously every morning and every night, not skipping a day. In the picture, obviously you can see that I just have a lot of scarring, but I did not have any active acne. I did not have any texture whatsoever on my skin, just a lot of scarring. But I will take scarring over active acne any day, any day, trust me. So this is a matter of almost technically less than a month, um, but I just consider it a month anyways that these products have done wonders to my skin so that is everything that i did i will leave um all the links down below of where i purchased all these products and all the prices and all that stuff for you guys down below if you guys have any other questions or if you feel like i missed something just go ahead and leave a comment down below that way i can answer them for you so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you found out some new products that you can try that you haven't tried before that might help you do take in consideration that what works for me may not work for you which I had to learn the hard way because all the products that everybody else was using 
in the YouTube world was not working for me. So you kind of have to play around with stuff and see what works best for you. Also, be patient. Skincare takes a while before you actually see results. So just be patient and don't give up. You will see results soon. Just stick with it and don't skip a day at all. Stick with it. But yeah, that's all I have left to say, guys. Um... Yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. It's free, and I know you want to. I'll wait so you can go subscribe. Okay, cool. <laughs> also, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms, which I leave right here for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love you so, so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!